1970s come alive Through this memory box we've known With country tunes and vintage scenes We'll take you back in time To a simpler place where love and melodies intertwine The burning question on everyone's mind is whether Sonny and Cher are happy or not. Are they getting along or are they headed for a split? TV viewers are left puzzled and unable to figure it out. Newspaper articles add fuel to the fire, recounting how Cher walked out on Sonny during a show and publicly challenged him to start his own show called The Sonny Show, if he didn't like it. The rumors come and go, leaving us in suspense. Just when things seem at their worst, we turn on the TV and there they are, Sonny and Cher, still together, laughing, teasing, holding hands, and singing, I got you, babe. Will Cher move out of their Bel Air mansion? Will Sonny? Will their act come to an end? People want answers. They are tired of rumors, hints, and innuendos. They want a first-hand look at Sonny and Cher to form their own conclusions and find out what is really going on. At Harris Lake Tahoe, Sonny and Cher are performing for two days, their first public appearance since the rumors started. The response has been overwhelming. When it was announced that Sonny and Cher were booked, the house received 80,000 phone calls in just 24 hours. The five shows they will do on Friday and Saturday sold out immediately, with the room holding 6,500 people. In the showroom, Sonny and Cher are rehearsing. Cher, wearing an expensive silk pants suit, paces through the numbers while the band and technicians work on the act. Cher commands the room with her star quality. She looks even better in person than on TV, with her waist-long blue-black hair, beautiful eyes, and slender body. All eyes are on her. Sunny, wearing a green sweatshirt and a vest, is worried and hoping that the rehearsal and show will come together. He is a professional who brought the act to the top and wants to keep it there. Sunny cares deeply about their success. The rehearsal consists of their classic Sunny Share material, filled with togetherness and laced with insults and sarcasm. It mirrors their prime-time television show, with Cher and Sonny playfully pitted against each other. The director calls for a break, and the onlookers below watch to see how Sonny and Cher interact offstage, in their real personalities. Sonny chats privately with the band leader, while Cher sits on the apron, a few feet away from him. They say nothing to each other or anyone else. They sit in silence, staring blankly for 15 minutes before the rehearsal resumes. The show must go on. Sonny and Cher are on fire. They are the subject of feature stories in almost every national magazine, and entertainment writers are clamoring for interviews with them. Their popularity is soaring. After the rehearsal, Sonny stays above to give final instructions to the musical director, while Cher puts on a floor-length mink coat and stands chewing bubble gum. Although they have declined interviews, I smile and greet Cher, asking her how she is. Up close, she is even more stunning and mature-looking. Sherilyn Sarkeesian embodies a mix of Cherokee, French, Armenian, and Turkish heritage. On stage, Sonny and Cher are the same vibrant duo from TV. They smile, move, dance, and entertain the audience with their tambourines and microphone cords. Cher's hair flows as she tosses it, and Sonny wears a straw hat, slapping his thigh. The material is familiar, but in person, it is more intense and risque, with their husband-wife banter delving into sex and personal matters. The audience loves it. Sonny and Cher take them to the edge of a breakup, only to bring them back with a song about togetherness. The rumors, the divorce mystique, are all incorporated into the act. During one of the show's highlights, Sonny introduces a color film featuring Cher in a wedding gown, surrounded by nature. Little Chastity, their daughter, also appears in the film, running after her mother. The film ends with Sonny joining them, symbolizing a happy family that will stay together. The audience goes wild. After the show, people are still asking the same questions. Are Sonny and Cher happy? Will they stay together? 
Is it all an act? The soap opera continues, and we are left wanting more. Sunny and Cher, the songs, the laughs, their hit variety TV show, and their marriage. The Sunny and Cher story is well known by now. They have experienced many changes both individually and as a duo. They have adapted to the ever-changing music industry, being one of the first acts to successfully transition from rock performers to television stars. After spending many years behind the scenes, they burst onto the scene in the mid-1960s with a string of hits, establishing themselves as top performers. However, as their audience's musical tastes shifted towards hard rock, Sonny and Cher turned to television. To everyone's surprise, they became the breakout stars of the 1971 season, paving the way for other successful musical variety shows on TV. Nick Van Off, the Emmy-winning producer who came out of semi-retirement to be the executive producer of the Sonny and Cher show, believes that the fifth season of the show is the best yet. We have kept the best of what we had and added many new elements. We still have the upbeat, fast-paced comedy, spectacular costumes by Bob Mackie, and the elaborate stage for the musical numbers and comedy sketches. Additionally, certain characters created by Sonny and Cher, such as Cher's Laverne and Sonny's Alvin, are back on the air. Laverne and Alvin are still sitting in a bar, watching the Sonny and Cher show, while regular Ted Ziegler serves them drinks and tolerates their unique brand of craziness. But this year, Alvin and Laverne are taking their relationship to the next level, they're getting married on January 23rd. It will be a very special event, as they will be wed in the bar where they first met and fell in love. Ziegler, the bartender, will be the best man, and the Admiral of the Seventh Fleet will give the bride away. Guest star John Davidson will serve as the preacher for the ceremony, and Mackie has designed a wedding gown specifically for the occasion. Since Sonny and Cher are known for their unpredictability, there are always new surprises on the show. For example, Cher portrays Mother Goose in a unique way that only she can. In each sketch, a well-known Mother Goose rhyme is updated in typical Sonny and Cher fashion to tell a story about America today. The show also features recurring sketches. The Not-So-Grand Hotel is a zany take on different eras in show business, reminiscent of the Marx Brothers, while The Morbid Manor is a monster-themed soap opera. One of the exciting additions to the 1976-77 season is the husband and wife duo Shields and Yarnell. They have recently captivated audiences on the Mac Davis show and in Las Vegas. Now, as regulars on the Sunny and Cher show, they will continue to bring their unique space-age vaudeville act to a growing fan base. As in previous seasons, the show will feature guest appearances by top stars. Bob Hope, Jim Neighbors, Dinah Shore, Donnie and Marie Osmond, The Silvers, Jack Albertson, and Steve Lawrence have already made appearances this year. Red Fox, Tom Jones, John Davidson, George Goebel, Don Knotts, Andy Griffith, Twiggy, and David Steinberg are among the personalities who will showcase their diverse talents on the show later in the season. Assisting Van Off are co-producers Frank Pipiat and Phil Hahn. Tim Kiley serves as the director, Jamie Rogers handles the choreography, and Harold Batiste is the musical director. Cher reflects on the challenges of putting on a variety show, it's really tough. I felt quite lonely doing the show by myself at the beginning of last year. Sonny and I have grown up together in many ways, and we see things from the same perspective. We have to keep evolving and trying new things to keep it fun. We genuinely have a great time working together, and we try to convey that to the audience. Vanoff shares shares sentiment, we have something special that no other show in the world has, the magic of Sonny and Cher. If I had to describe the series in a few words, would say it's a lot of fun and a lot of love. We organized a surprise party for Harvey, their co-manager, to celebrate his third wedding anniversary. 
To match the theme, we came up with a candy-inspired concept. Our decorations included giant lollipop centerpieces and an anniversary cake adorned with a gumdrop garden and colorful flowers. The tables were covered with vinyl tablecloths decorated with three-dimensional felt flowers. For drinks, we served a delightful concoction called Loving Cup. Guests could help themselves to a split of champagne, pour it over ice in large burgundy glasses, and add a splash of Grand Marnia and a few strawberries. This refreshing drink was enjoyed by the poolside, along with hot hors d'oeuvres. The buffet was set up indoors, featuring platters adorned with vibrant flowers. The portions were generous, allowing guests to go back for seconds without hesitation.